Hi everyone, this is Tim Anderson from CompleteWritingSolutions.com and I'm going to be showing you how I use Dragon Naturally Speaking in my day-to-day -day, uh, content generation. First off, you can see that I have Dragon Naturally Speaking already up and running in the background and it is uh, basically transposing everything that I say into text. For the sake of today's example, I am going to be reading off of a Wikipedia entry on dogs to give you an idea of how accurate the program can actually be, while at the same time speaking as I am right now before the actual reading of the text to show you the difference between speaking naturally as if you are talking to a friend and dictating when you are actually doing content generation. It is also important to notice that I do not use the auto punctuation feature of Dragon Naturally Speaking. Instead I still manually enter in my punctuation sometimes beforehand while I am actually working on the article and other times after the fact when I am editing the piece. So we are going to click over here and I am going to read the highlighted text from the article. Got to move it around first. Domestic dogs inherited a complex social hierarchy and behaviors from their wolf ancestors. Dogs are pack hunters with a complex set of behaviors related to determining each dog's position in the social hierarchy. And they exhibit various postures and other means of nonverbal communication that reveal their states of mind. These sophisticated forms of social cognition and communication may account for their trainability, playfulness, and ability to fit into human households and social situations. And these attributes have given dogs a relationship with humans that has enabled them to become one of the most successful species on the planet today. Now as you can see, the accuracy rating is not 100% when using Dragon Naturally Speaking. It sometimes confuses words such as rating with reading, as you can see in this particular paragraph. However, these instances are generally fairly minimal and grow less and less the longer you use the program and the more options you tweak. I'm going to turn off the microphone for now. Go to sleep. Because I want to show you a couple of things without having to worry about dictation. For example, I can go over here to the options and the miscellaneous tab. And here you're going to see the speed versus accuracy setting. Now I'm in the middle right now which has, you know, I estimate that it's roughly 96 to 97 percent accurate. You can actually turn it up to the most accurate and it's about 99 percent but there's a significant delay in terms of what you speak and what actually shows up on your screen and when you're doing production work you need it to be fairly responsive so I, I generally leave it in the middle. Um, if you have a fairly uh, non-accented voice pattern and you're not using you know a British accent or a heavy southern accent or something like that um, fastest response may work for you um, however I personally find that the the accuracy rating is a little a little too uh, minimal uh, for my day-to-day -day use so I always leave it in the middle anyway as you can see I just generated in, in I don't know how long it actually took to speak that but uh, we'll look at the word count here for a brief little 
deal. It was 330 words, basically, for a brief little example. Um, and it was me just talking to you like I talk to my friends. As you can see, this is uh, one of many tools that I utilize to remain profitable at content writing because it allows me to put out uh, anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000 words of text per hour on a day-to-day -day basis.